Friends, asthma is an interesting disease. There are cycles of sick again and well again. And during sick again, patient is so sick that he is not sure whether next time he will get a breath or not. When he is fit, then he is having the confidence of reaching to even Mount Everest. It is very important to have a diagnosis, accurate diagnosis in such patients. I will be discussing an approach to the diagnosis of asthma. The learning objectives are why it is essential to confirm diagnosis of asthma before starting the treatment, making diagnosis of asthma, modalities or diagnostic tests, demonstration of variability, reversibility test and criteria of reversibility, bronchial provocation tests, differentiation of asthma from a similar condition COPD and the concluding remarks. First issue is why it is essential to differentiate asthma or making a proper diagnosis of asthma before starting treatment. The reason are simple. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease. It is often lifelong label a patient gets in early childhood. Therefore, accurate diagnosis is essential and to ensure long treatment compliance and health related communication. Majority of patients are ignorant about medical terminology of their disease and use alternative names like Dama or Sans. These names are used by patients suffering from almost all respiratory diseases like asthma, COPD, ILD and even some patients of TB. The third important explanation is establishing accurate diagnosis and communicating name of disease in medical terminology to the patients are essential first basic steps of asthma treatment. A patient should speak asthma in order to defeat asthma. How can we make diagnosis of asthma? It can be in two steps. In the first step, suspect and then in second step, confirm. We suspect asthma on basis of some symptomatology, presence of two or more symptoms out of cough, wheeze, dyspnea and chest tightness. Then if there is variable